Welcome back to Survival Sunday with Johnny Tiger. On February 6, 2022. There's an old Chinese uh, proverb used to describe finding yourself in a really awkward situation. It said, uh, you don't want to ride the tiger. What does that mean? It means when you're riding the tiger, you're in a really bad situation because you know you can't stay on forever. And you know the moment you get off the tiger, the tiger is going to try to eat you. So you're kind of caught between the rock and the hard place. So today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about how not to get caught up in that situation, that mindset, when you find yourself in the grappling, in a close quarter struggle with somebody. But before we go into that, I want to uh, make two things clear first. First, uh, a lot of people think Johnny Tiger is a good grappler. Uh, but that is a little bit of a misnomer because Johnny Tiger would more be classed as a brawler. For me, being a good grappler, you need to know all the technical stuff, all the logs and joint logs and arm bars and leg logs and chokes and all that stuff. Uh, you need to know how to choke someone out, how to extend their arm, how to uh, do all that. Uh, joint manip manipulation uh, tricks. Now, I do know a fair bit of that, but uh, most of the time, if you watch when I engage someone, when I grab someone in a grappling circumstance, such as in the beginning of the video, I do not go in and grab and try to throw the person or try to uh, choke them out. Usually, as soon as I land a grab, I go right back into striking from a very short distance. So when I grapple, my goal is not to grapple them. My goal is just to limit them and bring them close to where I'm strongest. So uh, that is number one. Number two, what I'm going to go and be showing you guys for the rest of this video, going to look a little bit like jujitsu, going to look a little bit like judo. But keep in mind that Johnny Tiger is all about self-defense and Israeli Krav Maga. So there's going to be things that you don't want to do in the Jiu-Jitsu tournament or Judo tournament. You're going to get you disqualified. But it's going to be perfectly fine in a Krav Maga uh, sparring scenario or in a real life self-defense. So Let's get started. A lot of time, when people get into that riding the tiger situation, it's because they go in for the grapple. Okay, you get the grab, you grab the person around the waist. And then the person is proving to be a lot stronger than you think. You go in and you want to go to do this beautiful hip toss and you go and it's, the person not moving. Worse than that, the person is now hitting you, elbowing you, kicking you, pushing you around and you find yourself kind of stuck. A lot of people, their natural instincts are going to be getting at that death grip. They're, they're holding on for dear life. But this is not good. This is not good, especially if the person has a weapon in their pocket, or if the person is already stronger, bigger, meaner than you are. You stay this close, you hold on long enough, they're going to start grabbing for your eyes, ripping at your cheek. Okay? All kinds of nasty things can happen. So, as soon as you go in, and trying to perform your beautiful hip toss, and things don't work. You need to transition. You need to have the mental fortitude and the foresight to plan ahead, 
if this doesn't work, where am I going? Because obviously, if I go in and grab him around the waist, and it doesn't work, I can't just, oh, sorry, sorry about that, walk away. I, I No, because the moment I let go, he's going to beat the bejeebies out of me. He's going to beat the crap out of me. So transitioning means I need to go from here to somewhere else advantageous to me without exposing myself to additional danger, okay? So today I'm going to show you guys um, sort of a little bit of a principle on that, how to transition. Now, you don't have to always go by this roadmap, but this is just an example that can give you a good idea on how this works. Now, everyone has their own preferences in what they like to do when they engage, when they are going for the catch, when they try to sink their hook in, whatever your terminology is. Johnny Tiger, uh, just like my namesake, the tiger, almost always go for the head, right? But here's the thing. The head is a great target, but it's also a lousy target because most of the time when people are fighting, their hands are up here. They guard their head very closely, which means for me to get at his head, I need to break past his defenses, make sure he doesn't grab me first, and I have to get at his head for me to do my thing. Now, a lot of ways that Johnny Tiger used to accomplish this, the, one of the most primary things that I would do is rather than go straight in for the head, I'm going to go for the wrist, but I'm not going to hold on to the wrist. Once I get the wrist, I knee in the groin, and as soon as you knee someone in the groin, their head will come forth, and that's when I hook the back of the head, bring the in, knee a few more times, and do my things. Well, that's just one of the ways. That's just one of the ways. There are a lot of other ways, like a, a roundhouse kick to the leg or a punch in the lower stomach groin area to bring the head down so I can grab it. Uh, all these we'll talk about in the future episode if we focus more on how to go for the head. Actually, I think I might have mentioned these before in the past episode. But okay, now we got a hold of the head. What do we do? Well. There's a standard headlock with the arm going behind the head and the other hand grabbing my own wrist and crank the person down. Now, I like a, a real grappler where they would just crank the person down and start choking. My goal is to crank them down enough so I can knee them in the face, right? Or I will cup the back of the head and pass the other hand over so I can get that guillotine choke on the head. And from here, again, my goal is not to choke them out. I either get the guillotine choke on and start kneeing, start kneeing, or if this is a real serious self-defense scenario, I'm going to get this guillotine choke in and do a back ro backward roll. That can extend the neck, okay? I don't want to go into too much gruesome details. Use your own imagination what's going to happen, right? But this doesn't always work as I intended to, obviously. So there are times when I go in and I finally get a hold of the head and then the person is able to get an arm around my arm and block my body from coming in so I can't exert my force on the head. What do I do? I can't stay here. If I stay here, they're going to start kneeing me in the stomach. It's going to turn into a knee strike contest. And I don't want to play this game. It's silly, right? So from here, rather than staying here and trying to outmuscle them, which will take too much energy, especially someone as big as Bruce here, and I don't want to let go and back away because their arm is already here. They're going to start punching. So from here, rather than let go, rather than staying here, I'm going to slide 
my arm down the front of the body and hook over the arm that's between them and myself. Once I hook this arm, I can turn and drag them down to the ground using their arm, right? So that's step one. Transition from neck to the arm. Slide down onto the arm. And let's say if I do this, I, pull, I try to drag them down using their arm, and they're pulling their arm back, and they're stronger than me. They're pulling me off balance. I, again, I don't want to play this muscling game with them. So I'm going to let uh, my left hand, left arm, which is hooked around their arm, I'm going to slide this out. My right arm shoot around their waist. My left hand go down to the wrist. And now I can go for my hip throw in the opposite direction using the waist. Okay. Now, as we already mentioned, what if the person is super heavy, super strong? So I go for the hip toss and I, <clears throat> they're not moving. No problem. I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to use the body. I'm going to drop down, grab the back of the leg and use my one leg to kick the other ankle out, spread them out, down they go, right? So look at that again. Head, arm, hip tossed around the waist, grab the leg, right? Now some people say, okay, what happened? If you get down here, you grab the leg, and the person is that strong, he's not moving. You're not moving. Uh, no problem. I'm down here. All I need is one arm around the leg. My other hand is already at my pocket, pulling out my weapon. From here, I knife into the leg, kneecap, groin, belly, anywhere, right? This already allowed me to have a quick access to my self-defense weapon. Like I said, this is the Krav Maga, self-defense, not jiu-jitsu, not judo. My ultimate goal is to survive this situation. I don't need to uh, earn points, which means any time through this, grabbing the head, grabbing the arm, grabbing around the waist, grabbing the leg, any time during these procedures, any time I can, I'm going to try to punch them in the groin. If I get the head, I'm going to try to stick my thumb into the eye. If I grab the arm, I'm going to punch right into the armpit or elbow, right into the rib cage. If I grab the waist, I'm going to punch into the groin. If I grab the leg, I'm going to extract my tool, my weapon, and start using it from down here. Four quick switches, okay? From left arm around the head to um, left arm around the arm to right arm around the waist to left arm around the leg. Head, arm, waist, leg. Okay, so when you are engaging, when you are going in for the grab, you have to have that kind of uh, rudimentary plan in your head. Where am I going to go if this doesn't work? This is just one of the roadmaps. Like I said, you don't have to uh, follow this to the letter. This is just Johnny Tiger's own style. If you are the kind of person who like to go for the arm, for example, then okay, we go for the arm. This doesn't work out. We go for the head. This doesn't work out. We go for the waist, okay? You can transition from most of these grabs to something else, but you have to be ready to shift your own balance and move into a different grab and always think what is the end goal you're looking for. As I said, not judo, not jiu-jitsu. As long as you're safe at the end of the day, as long as you're safe to go home, 
then you did it right. Thank you for checking out today's uh, Survival Sunday, and uh, we'll be back again later for Soul Search Sunday. For now, remember, become the tiger. Don't ride the tiger. Tigers don't like that. <laughs>